Well, it's time to take a deep dive into the world of AI video creation. There's this new big player called Veo2 from Google. In this video, I would like to compare the performance of the other better known platforms, such as Kling, with the new version 1.6, Minimax and Runway, with that of Veo2. I will skip Sora in this analysis for the time being. I'll show you a few important parameters and what this comparison is based on. Let's take a look at the Google DeepMind website in a moment. Now, first things first, how do you get to the VO2 website so that you can create your own videos? Open your browser and enter deepmind.google. Then select the word technologies in the navigation next to the logo. Then simply click on the word VO in the second column. Now you have arrived at your destination. Right in the middle, you will see this orange button. If you click on it, a form will open with which you can request access to this platform from Google. At the time of video creation, VO2 is not publicly accessible. You can only get started once this process has been confirmed. Now that we have clarified this, I will show you, in the usual way, a few key figures for AI video creation. On this slide, you can first see the other leading platforms to date. Kling, in version 1.6, Minimax in version Live, and Runway in version Gen 3 Alpha. When realizing videos, a major focus is on their duration. Kling and Runway score points here, as you can choose between 5 or 10 seconds, although this, of course, has an effect on the number of credits you use. With Minimax, there is only one option, 6 seconds. The video output format for Kling is the highest at 1920 by 1080. If we now make a direct comparison with Veo2, we can see that videos with a length of 8 seconds are created there, which have a resolution of at least currently 1280 by 720. If we look at the Google DeepMind website, we see that they even talk about 4K. Now that we have clarified these parameters, let's jump back to the VO2 website. You can see a few very cool videos there that can serve as inspiration. For example, the movie with the cute cartoon girl at the bottom right, I actually really like it. If we scroll further down the website, there are more videos. Here, for example, flamingos, or this diving dog with swimming goggles. Then, this dog on the inflatable pink flamingo. This is also very well done. If you want to know how such a result can be realized, you can see the prompt directly below the respective video. And of course, we can find this hyped muscle car video on the website. You can also analyze the prompt there. I think this video is also very well done, if we look at it from a distance. However, if we take a closer look at the technical details, we will notice that there is still room for improvement here and there. If a vehicle has a turned-in tire position, you would think that it would drive into that direction. Instead, you can see that the vehicle continues to drive straight ahead. But let's not be too critical. As is often said, this is the worst it can get. And I have already noticed that the other platforms also face this challenge. In order to start the competition, I've done the following. Let's take another quick look at the cute cartoon girl. This video is actually very suitable for the contest. I then started mid-journey, typed a bit on the keyboard, and wrote my own prompt to generate a roughly similar image. You are now looking at a cute cartoon boy in an American diner in the 1950s. This is the competing contest image, so to speak. The second competing image is this picture with a dog on the flamingo. I wrote a prompt about a kitten on a green inflatable hoop. And of course, the third competing image is this muscle car. Here you can see a white pickup truck taking part in a NASCAR race. A convoy of black police vehicles follows behind the pickup. During this chase, the pickup makes the tires smoke. If we now take the first image, the cute cartoon boy, then Kling has produced the following result in version 1.6. If you look closely, you can see a lot of detail. It looks very lively. Not only the body, but also the hair is very dynamic. You can't really criticize much. It's very cool. Let's now evaluate the result from Minimax. There, you can see that the hair and the entire depiction look a little less dynamic. 
Runway's realization, on the other hand, doesn't look very attractive. Not only are the colors oversaturated and the picture looks extremely overdrawn, the realization also gives the impression of a still image with slight movements here and there. Kling 1.6 is the clear winner of the first competition image by a wide margin. Well, next round. We still remember the dog on the inflatable flamingo. The counterpart is this kitten on the green hoop. Let's take another look at the result from Kling. Version 1.6 is absolutely stunning. Here we see this cute little kitten all shaky and wet. The hoop wobbles and the kitten trembles. Absolutely fantastic work. If we look at the result from Minimax, on the other hand, it's very disappointing, especially in view of all the positive things that have been said and written about Minimax. It seems very static. Of course, it's fair to say that I use the identical prompt a stunning photograph showcases an adorable kitten that I wrote for all three platforms. It is also clear that each platform has its own prompt structure. With Runway, the camera should be at the beginning of the prompt, with Kling at the end, and so on. In this comparison, I deliberately tested how an identical prompt looks in the different output media. Now let's take a look at the result with Runway. The same symptoms here too. The colors of the video are totally intense and saturated. The image is oversharpened. And of course, the video is quite static and unattractive. And again, Kling is the winner of this round. But now to the highlight of the evening, the final showdown, so to speak. I set up this NASCAR scene with the white pickup truck. Kling is the first to start again with version 1.6. The tires are smoking, then the driver hits the tires hard and makes a dramatic left turn to flee from the approaching police vehicles. That's really well done. What is also important at this point is that version 1.6 has only been on the market for a short time. Until now, we had to work with version 1.5, and this is the result. You can see how the vehicle almost loses the right front tire at the beginning. The vehicle is pulled to the right, it smokes and fumes quite heavily. So you can see that Kling 1.6 is much better at keeping to the prompt. A powerful update. You really have to take your hat off to the developers at Kling. This is an absolutely top solution that doesn't have to duck away from either Veo2 or Sora. Minimax, on the other hand, once again leaves a lot to be desired. The tires are static, and it almost looks like an inflatable vehicle floating over the road. Finally, the contribution from Runway. This is again very strange and overly sharp. You can see the warning lights of the police vehicles in the background. Basically, however, it looks as if the vehicle is on fire and the camera slowly rotates around it. In short, Kling is the winner here too. Let's take another step back. The video of this muscle car does look a bit longer. That's why I took the liberty of making a slightly longer video with the pickup. You can see the result here. At the beginning, it smokes. Then the driver turns left and speeds past the police car. I hope this has given you some inspiration and you're not only fixated on Veo2 or Sora, but alternatively use Kling 1.6. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and recommend it to others. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI. Now you know.